After Saddam Hussein's ouster, the U.S. occupation of Iraq was supposed to last six months. And when Defense Secretary Donald Rumsfeld was told how much rebuilding the country might cost, he was quoted saying, if you think we're going to spend a billion dollars of our money over there, you are sadly mistaken. More than seven years later, as U.S. combat forces leave, the reconstruction bill exceeds 50 times that amount. A quarter of that money was spent not on building, but on security. And 15 percent was just wasted, according to Stuart Bowen, the U.S. official charged with keeping a critical eye on reconstruction spending. One of the worst cases, this prison outside Baghdad, never requested by the Iraqi government, never finished, and finally abandoned. Forty million. It's a lot of money, you know, just to piss away in the desert. Unacceptable. As for the rest of the money... The investment in the electricity sector has been mostly well spent. The investment in the health sector, not very well spent at all. Uh, the water sector is a very mixed bag. Meanwhile, the Pentagon is unable to account for nearly all of the $9 billion of Iraq's own development money held by the U.S. Bowen's office has convicted dozens of U.S. officials and contractors for corruption. But it's the way that the Pentagon pays contractors that he blames for much of the misspending. The cost plus system guarantees companies a profit no matter how far they may have gone over budget or produced shoddy work. There's not enough uh, um, governing mechanisms within the cost plus process to ensure that taxpayer dollars are effectively managed and protected. But Bowen is even more critical of how Iraq's officials are going about rebuilding. Services and corruption continue to daunt the progress of the fledgling democracy. Until Iraq holds a senior official accountable, and the Iraqis themselves see that there, there is some accountability being imposed by their, their judicial system, by their rule of law system, by their government, uh, I think uh, we're just going to have to wait for confidence to grow. So long as Iraq's politicians remain deadlocked over creating a stable government, Bowen worries that too much of the country's rebuilding money will keep winding up in a black hole. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, Washington.